shouldn't really be frying anything. Coconut oil stands a higher temperature, but whenever you fry something, it causes glycation, which is inflammation on a cellular level. Can you get away with it? Remember, everything is a balance. If you're doing everything, you're doing most things right, and you do a few things that are not 100% right, you're gonna get away with it. I'm trying to give you a formula that you, that you go by, right? Eggs, fish, you know, watch out for the mercury in fish. You know, the bigger the fish, the more mercury. Sardines are probably the best fish to eat. You know, make sure you're not, try not to fry it. Always eat it with vegetables. That's the, always eat everything with vegetables. Grains, you know, leave out brown rice. I eat brown rice, millet, buckwheat, and quinoa. Leave out whole wheat, you know, leave out the glutinous grains. A lot of doctors says gluten has nothing to do with anything. That's, that's not true. Meat, if you, if you want to eat meat, make sure it's grass-fed. You know, don't, if it's organic, it doesn't necessarily mean it's grass-fed. Organic has, means it has more marbling, it's juicier, it's tenderer, but it's not that not better for you. And grass-fed beef is, is organic anyway. It might not be labeled organic. A lot of people that raise grass-fed beef, they don't want to label it organic. Cause some, it, costs, it costs about $20,000 to get certified. The cow's out there living on grass. You, you don't have to certify. You know, all right, there's some fallout in the environment maybe. Chicken, remember, you don't need a lot of animal protein. That's the key. And I'm so glad that my grandkids do not eat a lot of animal protein. They eat very little, some eggs here and there. Uh, they're doing really good, and I'm very happy for that. 